Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do Saturday Soup. A read for the collective. So listen, collective. Only claim this from your higher self and for your higher good and only if it resonates. If it doesn't fit, please don't force it. Sharing is caring. Whoever you are and wherever you are on the whole entire planet, shout out to you. Thank you for taking the valuable time out of your day to join us. We really, really appreciate it. We see you and acknowledge that fact and we're very grateful for your presence. Whether or not anybody else has told you this today, because everybody needs to hear it, Delilah, Tiberius, and I love you. It's solid, it's unconditional, and it is a fact. If you need to contact me for any reason at all, my information is in the box below on how to do that. And lastly, could you please hit that like and subscribe? It's fun. It's entertainment purposes only. It doesn't cost you anything, and it will make you feel good because it's positive energy that you are expending out into the universe that has no choice but to attract and reverberate back to you. In the meantime, though, we are sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, and prosperity in every freaking form possible to infinity and beyond. All right, let's hit this clear and ground for Saturday soup. Thank you. As above, so below, there is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective. Collective, we're working with energy. It's fluid. I could be talking about you or somebody that's in your energetic field, right? And anybody can be resonating in any one of their planets at any time. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how we're going to help somebody here today. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Show me. Sadly, soup. What's going on? Okay. So we have a three of Rapini. Rapini is cups. It's in reverse. Three of cups in reverse. Somebody's feeling isolated and alone out there. Somebody's lonely. Somebody's got some kind of imbalanced social life. Somebody doesn't, maybe doesn't have any friends. Okay. I'm sending you hugs, whoever you are. It's solitude. Your lonely days, lonely nights. Okay, so here we go. Show me. Show me. I might pull these because they're very slippery, slippery cards. They're like a weird cardboard. It's like a pizza box. It is. All right. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to pull. Here we go. So, you have the Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor. Good luck, your karma, your fate your destiny, decisions that are going to change all that. It is Sagittarian energy. Show me. Somebody here likes garlic bread. You got the Hermit in reverse at the foundation of this situation. Again, somebody's really lonely here. Somebody might have did all the inner work and, you know, is having a hard time integrating back into, you know, other energies. Um, this is somebody who's isolated. They have an imbalanced social life. They're socially restricted. You know, they're withdrawn and lonely. Maybe this person could even be like paranoid to be around people. I don't know. Virgo energy. Show me the crowning. So that's at the foundation. Let's hope this situation turns around. Here we go. So now you got the tower in reverse. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is resisting change. This is delaying the inevitable, thinking that you're avoiding some kind of disaster or averting some kind of tragedy. Scorpio energy. It's because somebody's afraid here because maybe they, yeah, somebody here is really lonely and they're avoiding something. Now, this could be trying to make friends and go back out into the world, right? But it could be anything. Whatever it is, you're delaying the inevitable, all right? Tower's going to hit when Tower wants to hit, right? Show me. That's spirit there. Show me. What's coming in? That, what's coming in? Thank you. Here you go. You got the hang. <laughs> wow. Who am I talking to out there? Pisces energy for being trapped or confined or feeling like your hands are tied in a situation. Or, you know, it's the hangman. It's being uncertain. It's, it's not having a direction. It's needing to release and let go of something. But in the meantime, being stuck. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So now we have Pisces energy. Pisces, Virgo, Scorpio, and Sagittarius. All right, here we go. You have, okay, the Pope. So this is the Hierophant. It's coming out in reverse. Somebody here, maybe you need to do things in a new manner. Maybe, you know, this is about being a nonconformist, not doing things like everybody else does, okay? Not going by the book. Not, you know, it's, it's not being, um, yeah... It's the Hierophant in reverse. It's not following traditions. It's not, it's, it's just rebellion, you know? It's, 
How many minutes are on down here? Some of you might feel like by this inaction and not moving, it's some kind of form of rebellion, like passive aggressive. I mean, like some kind of passive aggressive protest. Oh my goodness gracious. A passive aggressive protest. This is what I'm hearing. All right. I'm going to say what I hear. I only work here. Here we go. Let's go. What's in the environment for whomever I'm talking to? So now that we have the Pope, which is the higher font in this deck, okay? Um, that's Taurus energy. Somebody might be having a christening for a baby. Somebody likes stuffed shells. Somebody might be dealing with somebody who's older or like an older family member. This person might live in a facility, perhaps like a senior citizen facility. This person could be very lonely. Here, you got the two of Rapini. That's the two of cups in your environment. So there's some kind of, a, you know... New emotional awakening. You and somebody else feel the same way about each other. Could it be that somebody's preoccupied with their love life right now in this new emotional awakening? That You know, this could be somebody here, all right? Maybe not this socially restrictive person, but you do have a two of cups in your environment. So this is a partnership, an attraction, a friendship, joining of forces. Hmm. Tell me. Somebody here might be a waitress. See? Show me. All right, we're going to pull. I'm going to pull. I'm threatening. I'm threatening spirit. Could you imagine the nerve of me? Threatening spirit. Yeah, here you go. This one wants to come out. Knight of Corta. So the Knight of Wands. So this is your advice. Like, come out of your shell and go live life already. This is what your advice is. The Knight of Wands doesn't worry about anything. They go and do what they want to do and they have fun. And they live their life. They stay in the moment. Somebody might deliver pizza here. Or pasta. I mean, pizza and pasta. <laughs> I'm Italian. I can't even say it. Jesus Christ. For shame. For shame. Anyway, the Knight of Wands is somebody who's very energetic and charismatic and carefree. This is your advice. They go out. You know, they're free-spirited. They're rebellious. Some of, them, some of you need to rebel against something here, okay? Maybe, yeah, this closed-off energy. This You need to rebel. <laughs> Maybe you need to rebel against spirit since I challenge spirit, right? When do I ever do that? I would never. The audacity on me. Disgrazia, Brooklyn. So here's what I'm saying. Maybe you need to rebel for me to have done that, right? Think about that for a minute. In some kind of way. You need to get... Get out there. Here, yeah, you got the world. Yeah, you know, here's the thing. The world means you've completed some kind of cycle successfully. I think it's the solitude cycle. But also, I'm hearing you got the whole world in your hands. You got the whole world in your hands. You got the whole wide world in your hands. Go out and live in the world and conquer, you know, conquer the world. See what's out there. Be a knight of wands. This is your advice column right here, okay? That's your advice spot. That's what Spirit's advice to you is, okay? Is to go out and be like a knight of wands. Live in the moment. Be adventurous. Be outgoing and spontaneous and free-spirited and enjoy your life. Have some sex. You know, make new friends. Do some stupid things that you could remember, right? Like, it's not about arriving in the casket pristine. It's about getting in there with scrapes, bruises, and bumps and having enjoyed the ride. Somebody needs to hear this. A glow, a focus. Yeah, the chariot. Get moving. Put a fire under your ass. This is why. The chariot is, come on, get moving. Like, do it now. Don't, what are you waiting for? I mean, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Who is that? That's that kid from American Idol, right? What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? An invitation? Mail? What? What are you doing? King of Wands here, right? King of Wands, King of Wands. That's the that's somebody who's adventurous. Leo energy. Somebody might wear some kind of leopard robe. Somebody's very eccentric here. Somebody runs around with sneakers and their underwear. Okay, I'm telling you right now. I love it. I love it. You're wild, man. I love it. Okay. Yeah, you got it. This is crazy. You got to move on here. Move on. Don't be in denial about this. Use your head over your heart and get out of here. Come on, if you if you like this because you're broken hearted, this is spirit telling you. Use your head over your heart. Some of you got a an air sign coming in though. It's a, yeah, you guys are going to be good. Listen, you got to just fix yourself here. You can't really, like, stay in this energy. So you have Taurus, Scorpio, Virgo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Taurus again. Here, let's get a couple of these funny ones, a few letters. We love you so much on Saturday Soup. Thank you again for hitting that like and subscribe. We really, really appreciate it. Here, we're going to do this because we're going to, yeah, somebody's name could be Michael. Turn this around. I don't want to see them. Yeah, TikTok. Somebody's done TikTok too much. 
Watch out for TikTok. I mean, it's fun. It's good. It's all this and that. But be aware of the ramifications of being on TikTok because there are. Okay? Here. Hidden detection devices. Again, with this freaking thing. So somebody's got them. Or somebody thinks they got them. They're a real thing. A lot of people get them for a lot of different reasons. There's ways to eradicate the problem. But, you know, just... Stay mindful. They could be just even outside in the bathrooms or something, in public bathrooms. Dream clairvoyant. Somebody's a dream clairvoyant there. Here we go. You got shit sitting in the fan for somebody. Oh, you know, it could be somebody named Michael. It's shit, it's somebody on, because shit could be hitting in the fan because something's happening on TikTok. Or maybe uh, some kind of hidden detection vice. It's Michelle, Michael, Michelle. Somebody's a lawyer. Maybe that's why the shit's hitting the fan, right? People have to lie all the time. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Shout out to Australia. And there we go. We have tacos. Taco Tuesday. You know, somebody likes tacos. You owe me taco. Maybe your name is taco. I mean, it's whatever, right? Yeah, breaking news. Breaking news. So whatever that breaking news, news is for you. It could be about the shit that's hitting the fan. About some kind of liar, right? I mean, something could be happening geographically. What? Something, okay, around the world, like some kind of, yeah, let's not talk about that. Everyone is not your friend. Remember that shit, because that's for sure. And uh, Jersey Shore, again, something's happening down here on this Jersey Shore, because I've been getting that card a lot lately, and look at all the cards, right? And I mix them up. It's not like, you know, yeah, somebody's got big brown eyes, all right? My brown-eyed girl on here, and here you go, been verified. Hidden detection devices, been verified. Somebody's up in somebody's business here. You might be getting downloads and dreaming about this, all right? Yeah, crooked officials. Yeah, it could be crooked officials. I'm telling you, it could be crooked in private investigators or co I'm telling you, this is a real thing. Yeah, I hate to talk about it, but this is going to be breaking news. Maybe it's going to be on the news. Maybe somebody's going to, yeah, yeah. Junk food. Somebody could be eating a lot of junk food. Somebody needs to be, somebody's getting laid or needs to get laid or anything could happen in the blink of an eye. We're going to leave it at that. Yeah, somebody's name is Robert, Roberta, Ro Roberto, whatever it is. Let's get some letters. I said that we were going to do that, didn't I? Okay, let me go. You have cancer energy over here with the chariot, by the way. I think I forgot to tell you that. Here you go. All right. So, uh, let's see what we have. C-L-F-B. C-L-F-B. Two Fs. Two Ls. C-B, like C-B radio. Two Ls. Two Fs. A D, a T, T, D, bank, maybe. Three Fs. And then, okay, two N's. You ready? C, B, two L's, three F's, T, D, two N's. I'm hearing Falana, Falana, Falan, Falangi. What am I hearing? Two A's, an O, and I hear the U. God up in heaven, help us all. All right, listen, thank you so much. We love you. Always remember, leave a logic and integrity. Have, yeah, oh, I don't even remember what the prayer is. Leave with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy. And trust in God because karma is really freaking real. All right? And we love you. Goodbye.